stain all glittering gold There is nothing can console me But my jolly sailor boy Life and death and love and birth And peace and war on the planet Earth Is there anything that's worth more than peace And love on the planet Earth? Whoa, come on and sing it with me Sing? The words relate to the key Key And if you Incense, and what to use it for. Patchouli, depression and anxiety relief. Cinnamon, money spells and energy. Dragon's blood, to increase the potency of a spell. Amber, to draw out negativity and improve confidence. Sandalwood, to cleanse the energy. Okay, so I have a really quick and easy luck spell. Now ignore my hair, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> so what you need is just a little shiny penny, the most shiny one you can find, and wash it in your moon water. And then on the next full moon, go under the moon and hold it under there and say, bind be gone, problems be away, good luck I summon, come to me and stay. Fortune, happiness, safety, and luck, all be with me. So long as I have this penny, so mote it be. And then all you have to do is just keep this penny with you in your wallet or purse or pocket, just, or even in a little sachet with some, um, with some crystals or protection herbs, luck herbs, some cinnamon, literally just anything that you feel will just bring more help to bringing you luck. So, I hope this helped. Today I made some fairy spoons. First I headed down to the beach to collect my shells, and I found all these shells with a natural hole in them. So I gave them a wash in hot water, and a bit of soap, and a scrub to get anything else off there, and a dry as well. Then I took this copper wire that I had, I cut it into lengths, and wrapped it around the natural hole in the shell to get a good grip. I found pliers really helped to get a secure hold on the copper wire in the shell. Wrap it round quite a few times just to make sure the shell isn't moving against the wire. I added another length and it ended up looking like this. I then took the two lengths and started twisting them together to whatever length you want your handle to be. After this I went back round with another piece just to make it thicker and sturdier. I made a few just trying out different designs and they work perfectly for my loose tee. You're not a witch. Sure I am. Witches aren't real, aren't they? Well, if you're a witch, do a spell. Fine. Well, aren't you gonna do it? I just did. Well, nothing happened. Wait. Okay, fire, air, water, and earthbender. Who would get what element? Fire. Because of your fiery passion. Earth. Because you're so grounded. And water. Because you're so deep and mysterious! And you're a wet blanket. And I would bend air. Because you're an airhead. How to tell if a crystal is fake. Glass is often sold as clear quartz. Clear quartz does not magnify writing. Glass does. Anything that's one perfect colour all the way round is fake. This actually is selenite, but it's been dyed. If you buy chunks like these, make sure they have rock on them somewhere. Even this fairy cavern has rock in it where it wasn't able to be fully cleaned out. If your clumps aren't rocky, they're probably fake. This is really common with amethyst for some unknown reason, but when you do look at the rock, look along the seam where it just meets the crystal, because sometimes you can see glue, where they've glued plastic fake amethyst to plastic fake rock. When you buy crystal balls or crystal points, always check for air bubbles. If it's got air bubbles, it's fake. Swirly bits are good though. If it's heavy, it's more likely to be real. If it's just too perfect, it's fake.
shit. Oh no. Where's my olive oil? Shit. What? How is that possible? How can I be? Shit. Oh no. Aphrodite's gonna be so mad. What? Oh. Where's my sage? Oh no. Oh. Duh. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Routier, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu À l'époque où Jean Santerre d'Angleterre était le roi Dominique, notre père, combattit les albigeois Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Routier I need to go. Athena! Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that works too. <laughs> This is how to make homemade rose water for use in cooking and cosmetics. First, pick four to five blooms of fragrant roses. Give them a wash to remove any bugs. Put a small heatproof bowl in a pot and then add the roses around it, making sure that none go in the bowl. This bowl in the middle will then collect all the rose water once we boil it. Add boiling water, but just enough to cover the roses. We're going to take a lid and place it upside down into the pot. This means the condensation will collect on the handle and drip directly into the bowl. Adding ice on top will help with the condensation and evaporation of the rose water, and then turn the heat onto a simmer. The rose water should evaporate onto the lid and then drip down into the middle. I simmered mine for about half an hour, and the kitchen smells amazing. Any water left over in the petals can be used for rose tea. Let it cool down and then use it however you wish. <laughs>